you don't fool God. And I'm telling you, though, some of you do things consistently, you do it with the wrong attitude. And that's the reason you can see folk committed physically to be at a place to do a thing, but then they're not being blessed. So you wonder, why is brother so-and-so not blessed? Blessed when he doing such and such all the time. It's because when he does it, it's not well the right heart. See, if you're going to serve God, you often have to check your heart. Because sometimes there can be things eating at your faithfulness. That if you don't really examine yourself or do a thorough search, you will not even see the thing that's killing your faithfulness. I shared with some of y'all that for the first time, I got me, or was given to me, two tomato plants. And I, and I told somebody, I, I said, man, I ain't been so happy about something in my life as them two tomato plants. Folks, I tell you, if they came by my house, out of all the nice cars that I have, I ain't trying to show them no, 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 no car. I'm saying, you got to see my two tomato plants. Even my children got tired. Oh, God said, come, come on and look at them. Come look at them. I count the tomatoes. Oh, y'all ain't hear me. Brought two, brought three in the house yesterday. Chopped them up. Me and first lady had a tomato sandwich. It might have been in our mind, but that was the best tomato sandwich I ever ate. Now, I'm biased because they were my tomatoes. But I'm just bragging on my plants. And then I looked out the back sunroom. And I was like, them, they withering. I said, you could dine on me. I started just putting water down. And water and water. Then I started doing the research. And somebody said, well, you can overwater. If your leaves are turning up on the corner, you're overwatering. I said, I need to pull back on the wall because I've been bragging on them too much. <laughs> they kept dying. And see, if you know something about a tomato plant, wherever you see the little yellow things, whatever that's called, Brother Ford will tell you, I don't know. But that means a tomato coming there. I went out there one day, I'm just counting 18, 19, 20. I'm like, each one of them got about 20 or so of them on there. Some have about 40, 50 tomatoes. Good God Almighty. Hallelujah. Thank you. And so, so I'm going out, and it's still dying. And the Holy Spirit said, look closely. And I looked, and I didn't see nothing. I said, look real close. And I began to see big old green worms on the plant that looked the same color as the plants. And they were just eating away. Then I studied that. And they told me, said, if you don't deal with them things, they'll eat the whole plant. Oh, pastor, what are you saying? Some of us got stuff. Eating at our faithfulness. Some of you got people you love to hang with, but like it or not, brother so-and-so backslid, left the church, and want to see you do the same. That's why he's eating at your faithfulness. Constantly saying negative things to you about the church, about the house of God, about the way you serve God, how faithful you are. And I had a choice. Let the worms eat or do something with them. And I went out there and I did a good inspection. I was going through every leaf, turning them over, and I was just picking them off. When I threw them on the ground, I squashed them. But you'll be surprised in the church. Some of the silly stuff that's eating at folk faithfulness. Oh, saying dumb stuff like I think I would better all as a sinner well let's look at that have you forgotten your life as a sinner 
and remind you now when you look at it, you're on your way straight to hell. But now you got the nerve to say you were better off as a sinner. Now how can a person utter such a thing and be fully committed at the same time? 